G'day, this is Alistair from LearnDelphi.tv and this video is a bit of a blog post, it's going to be really rough but um, over a couple of afternoons um, so the VCL version I wrote a clone of Minesweeper uh, I was inspired by um, this, this video here, so coding, coding challenge number 71, Minesweeper by the, the coding train um, and I thought well that's pretty simple, you write some Minesweeper in about, about an hour roughly speaking in, in JavaScript uh, it took me a bit longer than an hour but uh, I think he'd practiced it before so uh, <laughs> so and it pretty much just, just looks like this it's um, very much sort of the classic Minesweeper and so on and I'll lose the game by clicking on a mine and we can say you know expert and have a larger version and so on so uh, it was pretty simple um, it did take me a while there was the, probably the, the, the trickiest thing was um, when you when you're clicking uh, let's just load it up again so I know that one's a mine and then if I click you can either middle click or click with both mouse buttons and that was actually kind of awkward to do uh, it took me a wee while a bit of experimentation to work out a reasonable way of doing it but basically in the mouse down I'm recording uh, all the buttons that are, that are down and in the mouse up I check that uh, if this you know currently um, you know the right mouse, bu mouse button was previously held down and currently the left mouse button is being clicked or vice versa um, we can do the do the show neighbors uh, and we say we're processing a click because we don't want when we release the mouse button we don't want to do an additional click actually it probably wouldn't matter too much for the game game behavior it probably wouldn't wouldn't do anything necessarily uh, necessarily bad provided you, you clicked in the right place um, so that was kind of the awkward bit and basically it, it's just a, there's a paint routine and it iterates I have a um, let's look uh, it's going to draw cell uh, so it iterates over all the cells um, so uh, MSE is my Minesweeper engine which uh, is just a class and I have some, some sort of helpful um, bits and pieces and um, yeah, some various uh, support routines so there's a number of flagged neighbors in uh, the, the XY location and so on um, and we can you know, set something a flag and say is it flagged uh, is something visible or we can show a cell or show its neighbors and show becomes a little bit recursive because we didn't then do uh, show neighbors and that goes and finds all the neighbors and then it's more visible so it's it's fairly straightforward so this 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 unit is uh, platform agnostic and uh, so yesterday I had a go at writing a fire monkey version and I can run that and I spent a few hours on it, it was uh, interesting so it, well, <laughs> two for two and so it, it works very much the same and dead and I have a little, little wind sound so there's a, a sound engine so uh, if we look at the, the form so I've got sound and windows working just fine uh, the window sound but I haven't worked out a version that works in Android very well. There is uh, in this Minesweeper FMX sound. Um, so if I go go into that, and it uses um, T Media Player. So we were to create that one, and the hassle I had was it's so slow. So I do a click and it thinks unsupported media. Okay, uh, I had this problem before, that's easy enough to fix. Um, and I don't have the MP3s there. 
So I'll have to play WAV files. So I've just hard coded at the moment as, I, as I'm kind of still working out. I haven't actually tested this under Android. Maybe maybe under Android, Android it's much faster, but there's a big, big delay. Um, so, you know, click and sets it. Click and does it, yeah. And on, on the um, FireMonkey version, I can just left click on a cell and it does the uh, show neighbors rather than having to either right click or um, double click. Uh, right click or you yeah, click with both mouse buttons. Uh, the reason for that was for the Android version, which does actually work. Um, but as I say, I haven't managed to get sound going in Android. Although um, I noticed uh, that this is my my uh, post on. Uh, Stack Overflow uh, asking about it and someone has actually written a very large uh, response which I will have to read through tomorrow which hopefully will be uh, uh, useful and there's a few comments which is really nice so that's that's pretty cool so that's sort of uh, since yesterday and I've got an extra cross platform audio support ah oh, okay because I've had two down votes two up votes so I'm not sure. It would be nice if um, sometimes the, the first down vote I didn't get any comments, but I have to have a bit of a read and find out. Um, and also, I don't think I can use MP3s. I think I need to use some um, H.263 or H.264 audio standard. But that's just fine. So that's that's, that's Minesweeper uh, working sort of Windows and Android. I haven't. I've, I still haven't finished my FireMonkey version. I haven't got the um, settings screen sorted yet. And I have to do um, play around a lot. To work out um, so you can resize it and it resizes the squares and that kind of thing. The um, how to make that kind of work nicely on Android, whether I have a fixed number of squares or I just make the squares a fixed size and do as many as I can. But anyway. So um, one last thing I'll mention is that I have started, so um, on Embarkadero Academy, I have uh, just started creating a new course, uh, Zip Compression in Delphi. That's currently half price because it's um, in, in, in beta at the moment. So uh, I'm working on it. I've been a bit lazy, but I've been adding videos. And there's um, pretty close to pretty close to two hours of content so far. I think there's going to be possibly some have been six and eight hours, depending on how how far I go. Um, it's, it's probably going to be at four hours, four or five hours of uh, tzip file, and then I'm probably going to cover Abrivia as well because that's easy to install uh, in the IDE. You can just do that from uh, the Git it package manager, and it supports a lot more of zip than the uh, system.zip uh, in, in Delphi. So that's what I've been working on. I, mean, I might cover some other other zip components. I've used uh, tzip master in the past, but that requires a DLL and some other uh, other bits and pieces. But um, I'll probably probably mostly cover cover Abrivia and maybe mention some others. Um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, I hope you've found it useful. Um, that I will I might make a uh, a video for Embarkadero Academy of building Minesweeper from scratch. Um, and probably do it in a sort of more, more uh, test-driven development way. I've kind of, which probably would have solved some issues that I've uh, um, I've had uh, with with the Mind Super engine. It's, it's perhaps not written in its most efficient uh, manner, but it, it does work. Um, and I, I think I can probably shift the audio support uh, in here so that it plays the sounds appropriately if a sound engine is is supplied. So a bit of, de bit of dependency injection there. Um, so I will stop there before I ramble on forever. Um, yeah, as I say, hope, hope you found this useful or entertaining. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.